Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU. Today, we're going to be discussing jailbreaking, specifically the upcoming 11.3.x utility that we're all waiting for, some of us more patiently than others. Trust me, I'm right there with you guys. Extremely pumped for this tool and also the future of jailbreaking as it pertains to iOS 12. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're excited to jailbreak soon. Click the subscribe button below next to the channel name and ding that notification bell to ensure that you're notified anytime we release videos, whether it's related to jailbreak updates or once the tool is finally released. Now we're going to talk about things in chronological order. So navigating over to Coolstar's Twitter account, we're going to delve into this tweet in just a second. First though, I wanted to answer the number one question I get asked on the channel related to this upcoming jailbreak. That's whether it's going to support iOS 11.2.x, and the answer to that question is yes. I mostly talk about it functioning on 11.3.x, but it will also work on older firmwares that weren't included in the first iOS 11 jailbreak. So if you're on any 11.2.x firmware, it will work up to 11.3.1. The only firmwares that are locked out of jailbreaking are 11.4.x, which includes 11.4.1 beta, as well as the public 11.4 release and the iOS 12 betas. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into this. Coolstar about a day ago sent out a tweet that has some people rather heated. He said, quote, got a new surprise, coming soon for you all with Electra 11.3.1. Now, rightfully so, a lot of people thought that that meant there was going to be a new jailbreak dropping soon. That is not the case. In fact, I didn't even want to cover this news simply because I knew that. It's kind of like he's just teasing us and tantalizing us at this point with the jailbreak. But keep in mind, guys, this thing does take so long to create and Coolstar is doing it in his free time. He definitely has the right to send out a few enticing tweets here and there. Remember, without him, we would not have a jailbreak. And just for some additional clarification on that and a developer's word that again, this is not going to be out any sooner than what was originally planned. Let's navigate to Pwn to owns Twitter account. This is an individual who does contribute to the jailbreak. Remember, he is a part of the Electra team. He said in regards to that tweet, quote, no, this does not mean that tool will be released sooner or something. Please stop spreading false info. This has nothing to do with that. So that's kind of why I'm making this video today, because again, this information has spread like wildfire, and there's so many rumors that Coolstar is going to push the jailbreak within a matter of days. We simply don't know that. Sure, it could be days, but again, I don't want you guys to get your hopes up that it's going to be releasing sooner in light of that tweet. He also said that, quote, this is not an untether. No, this is not a jailbreak me. No, this is not related to Electra 1131 itself. So, Everything that people have been guessing is just false. That's why I have stayed away from it until now. I just wanted to release this video to clarify. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens once Coolstar actually drops this thing and what he was in fact referring to. So stay tuned for that. Now, he also said that iOS 11.3 betas are no longer being signed. So that's another key thing that I wanted to discuss in today's video. Up until now, we were able to downgrade back to a couple of betas, specifically iOS 11.3 beta 6. That is no longer possible. So again, if you intend to jailbreak, stay on whichever firmware you're on. I don't care if you're on 11.2.x or 11.3, whatever it happens to be, just so long as it's not higher than 11.3.1, stay where you're at. That way you will be included in the jailbreak once it finally drops. All right, also Coolstar did send out a couple other other tweets today. He said, quote, wonder what soundtracks I should include in the jailbreak. And then quote, guess it'll be a surprise to people which tracks I choose. So of course, that tweet from yesterday regarding surprises has everyone on edge related to the jailbreak. I just wanted to stress again, guys, that these jailbreaks take hundreds of hours to create and Coolstar is doing it in his free time. He definitely shouldn't catch any heat for kind of teasing us with this jailbreak this time around. We should be thankful that he's even working on it to begin with. All right, of course, I'm going to keep you guys completely covered as things progress. And once a new utility finally drops, you will be notified first here on the channel, just so long as you are subscribed and you ding that notification bell. 
Now let's talk about jailbreaking his future past 11.3.x because yes, while I know it is super exciting to focus on the Electra jailbreak for 11.3.1 and lower, we can't forget about the future. We have to maintain a long-term vision when it comes to jailbreaking. So this is some super exciting stuff to come out of MoSEC 2018 or the Mobile Security Conference that was originally put on by Pangu. So sorry, my bad. A hacker and individual with clout throughout the community said, quote, iOS 12.0 beta remote jailbreak demo at MOSEC 2018 thanks to the help of Pangu and Morpheus. And then he tweeted out this link right here, which is just a video to the actual remote jailbreak, which seemingly functions on both 11.4 and iOS 12 beta. This is so incredibly exciting, guys. So let's open up this video here, and I'm just going to scrub through it, and we're going to, well, walk through this video, and I'm going to kind of explain what's happening. So up first, he actually opens up the settings application on both of these iPhones to confirm that we are running or he is running iOS 12 beta on the one on the left and 11.4 on the one on the right. And then he goes over to Safari and he navigates to a local IP address. So he does have his own server seemingly with this jailbreak on it. And this is like a jailbreak me exploit. So essentially it's able to escape the sandbox with inside Safari, deliver the jailbreak payload. You can see that in a second, it's actually just going to respring the devices. And then once it does that, it pops back up with Cydia. So he unlocks and he has Cydia as well as mobile terminal installed. And then he just proves that they do in fact confirm inside of City that they are running the aforementioned firmware's 11.4 on the right and iOS 12 beta on the left. Then he launches up terminal and just runs through a command again, confirming that. So some very awesome stuff, guys. Like I said, it is critical to maintain a long-term vision when discussing jailbreaking. This does mean that it is still theoretically possible to jailbreak both 11.4 and iOS 12. I, for one, could not be more stoked that jailbreaking continues to survive in 2018. Some very exciting stuff. And just note that this doesn't necessarily mean that we should expect a jailbreak from the Pangu team for either 11.4 or iOS 12 in in fact, I do believe that this Electra jailbreak for 11.3.x is going to be the last iOS 11 jailbreak, but this should get us very excited for the future because again, it is still theoretically possible. Jailbreak demos are always something to look forward to. We shouldn't put too much stock into them though because it doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be anything resulting directly from those demos other than the fact that it is still possible to jailbreak. So some very exciting stuff out of MOSEC 2018 and also just some things that I wanted to clarify regarding Electra and the fact that it's not going to come out any sooner in light of Coolstar's recent teasing tweet from yesterday. All right, now I really hope you guys like this video. I just wanted to ensure that you stay fully informed. That is my number one goal when releasing these jailbreak updates to ensure that everyone who watches them has the most up-to-date and accurate information when it comes to jailbreaking possible. If you appreciate that and what I do, be sure to drop a like and let me know down below in the comment section. Of course, stay tuned for more coverage on the jailbreak coming soon. And until then, this is ICU, signing out.